hey y'all what's up and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i did this look this is a holiday look i would say i'm not gonna call it a thanksgiving just because tomorrow is thanksgiving and there's no way that i'm gonna be able to get this video up tomorrow for thanksgiving so i'm just gonna call this a holiday look and kind of like a throwback thursday so i'm doing a new series on my channel called throwback thursday where i have a older palette and i kind of bring it back and do like a throwback thursday so i'm excited for that and this video is going to be that kind of i use the tart lit toasted palette and i honestly really like the way it came out so if you like the way that this looks then just go ahead and keep on watching <laughs> all right y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and get started we're not gonna even talk about um how i just filmed almost this whole video and had to wipe my makeup off because we're not even gonna say why we're not even gonna say why why we're not gonna say why <laughs> And that's 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 it so today I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving look Thanksgiving glam whatever even though Thanksgiving's tomorrow like it's so typical of me to do a look the day before Thanksgiving and probably not even be able to get it up I know I won't be able to get it up because that would just be so crazy so we're just gonna call this a holiday makeup look so instead of a Thanksgiving makeup look, I'm just going to title it Holiday Makeup Look. And it's basically going to be for Thanksgiving because I'm going to do one for Christmas and all of that. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, so the point of this video is that we're going to be doing something new. We're going to be bringing something new back to my channel, which I will talk to a little bit, talk to y'all a little bit more about in the intro but it's going to be throwback thursdays so this video will probably be up next thursday just because this thursday is thanksgiving and today is wednesday and i'm there just i honestly would be pushing it to edit this and get it up tomorrow but you never know you never know what your girl can do so we'll see what happens but let's just go ahead and begin with the eyeshadow look for today's Throwback Thursday palette, we're going to be using the Tartlet Toasted Palette. And this came out around this time last year. So as you can see, it's this beautiful toasty looking palette, which honestly I love it. And I probably haven't used it since around this time last year. So when I was going through my stuff to try to find like a Throwback Thursday palette, I was like, holy cow, I'm going to use this one because last year around this time, this was the palette that I used because it just came out, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just go ahead and begin i'm gonna be going in with the shade cashmere right here i'm gonna go ahead and dust this all over this crease just to kind of have a base down for my transition shades um this is honestly gonna be like a look that you could do for thanksgiving christmas friendsgiving whatever so i did want to get on here and talk to y'all a little bit about um what happened to me this week <laughs> So this week, Monday, um, November 25th, I was supposed to be leaving to Mexico and I would be back on the 3rd, but I missed my flight and they were going to reschedule it, like no problem, like people miss their flight all the time, you know, they just reschedule, whatever. Now I'm going in with the shade Warmth. So she's like, yeah, we can reschedule you, you know, see if we can get you something that leaves out today. Yada, yada. At this point, though, I was already like, I'm not going because this is a sign from, you know, God. Like, no, I'm, I'm definitely not going because something is going to happen. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was I was listening to her. And you know, what? I was like, you know what? Maybe I can get me a flight um, for later today and maybe I can just get there and this just disaster be over with turns out she says oh yeah oh yes we have a flight it leaves at 11 and i was like that's great and then she was like but there's a five hour layover in houston and i was like what why would you even tell me that if i have a five hour layover in houston and i will not get to mexico until like eight o'clock at night and over there my family doesn't like to drive at night i'm pretty sure this is everywhere in mexico because it's so dangerous to drive at night so I would have to stay at the airport all night. I just flew and been in Houston for five hours and I just wasn't about it. And then my mom was like, no, you're definitely not going because of all this stuff going on. You know, these predators are just waiting anywhere. They could be waiting at the airport for young women, especially now that it's travel season. And, you know, my mom was just like, no. 
And you know, I kind of agreed with her because I've been watching a lot about the sex trafficking and how they're abducting and you know, I've watched some videos on their vans and the equipment that they have and it's very crazy, it's very scary. So the thought of that honestly just had me so scared. I just knew it happened for a reason and yes, I'm sad because I cannot go to Mexico, of course. Um so now I'm going to be good. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with the M433 and I'm going to go in with the shade Cozy right here. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Cozy. So I was just, you know, like everything happens for a reason and let's just get our try to get our money back and go home. Well, at this point, I didn't even want my money back. I was crying. I was very sad because I really did want to go. Um, the main reason I wanted to go was to spend time with my family. And then my cousin was having a quinceanera and I was bringing her some shoes. And, you know, it, it was just, I felt like it was a special, it was going to be a special moment. But, of course, everything happens for a reason. So, I switched the camera around just so I can kind of see a little bit better or you can see a little bit better what I'm doing I kind of just felt like I don't know I kind of just felt like I let them down and I just let myself down I don't know but at the end of the day it doesn't matter because I can go again and it's just a party and they can find shoes over there and it everything's gonna be fine um and that's what I kept telling myself you know my mom told me it's gonna be fine they're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine um you're you're gonna go so I've decided that I'm probably going to go for Christmas with my father and just drive. Uh, flying, I feel like it's fine. But flying alone is something totally different. Flying alone is just something that I don't think I can handle right now. Um, I just don't think I can handle flying alone. Especially after what just happened. And I, did, I have flown alone before. I flew back from Mexico to the United States alone. But I went straight to Atlanta, Georgia, and I had no connecting flights. And literally, if I ever fly again, I will go to Atlanta. Or I will I will not fly through Jacksonville Airport because you have to have a connecting flight. You have to stop somewhere, and I'm just not about that life. Especially considering what happened here. And I didn't know that you had to be there two hours early. Um, call me dumb, call me stupid, whatever you want to call me, but... <laughs> I've only flew one time in my life, so I, I was there all night because, like I said, in Mexico, they don't like to drive, so they brought us to the airport at night, and I waited till 6 o'clock in the morning, or I think it was 3 o'clock in the morning to take my flight. I think it was 6 o'clock. So, yeah, but I'm leaving that in the past. You know, I've dwelled on it. I've been sad about it and cried about it, and now I'm going to be home for Thanksgiving, and... It's going to be fine. Honestly, it's going to be just fine. They're going to send me pictures of the party and that's all that I can ask for, you know? I'm not going to let the trip, not being able to go on the trip, get me down just because, you know, I'm here. I'm going ahead and cutting my crease. Y'all let me know down below if y'all like for me to talk in my videos or just like be like, I'm just using this and now we're going to do this. Y'all let me know what I'm going to do, what y'all like better because... Honestly, I like to talk and just let y'all know what's going on and all that stuff. I'm going to go back in with Fireside and just deepen up the outer corner. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to put this all over the lid. So now that I have that how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, honestly, y'all, I want to try the... The magnetic lashes the new ones that they just came out with because i hate putting on lashes i honestly hate putting on lashes all right so i'm gonna go ahead and try to make this really quick oh and the foundation that i used was the anastasia beverly hills this is the new her new foundation and i'm in the shade 230n I don't really know if I like it yet. I, this is like my literally, I just put it on my face earlier, but the video didn't turn out. So <laughs> we're doing it again. And I honestly just still don't know how I feel about it yet. So for the concealer I used, I went in with the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and set the under eyes with the... And then what I'm going to do is set the rest of my face using this Essentia BB Cream. 
let's just go ahead and set the face with this i'm at my sister's house if you cannot tell i think i explained this earlier but i'm at my sister's house and i just literally have a door behind me and some light coming to me from outside so the lighting will probably change but i came over here so i could do some cookies for thanksgiving and film a video So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with a pretty go pretty vulgar bronzer. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit my nose. These eyelashes though, they're touching my eyebrow. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush. I'm going to be using the Cover of X palette. And that kind of just gives me a little something on the cheeks. So the cheeks don't look... Like they have nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. Which is Candle. For the inner corner I'm also going to go in with Candle. And highlight the inner corner. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my contour. I like for it to be very like sharp. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my nose contour. That way it doesn't look crazy on my nose bake so for the lips i'm gonna go in with magic wand from ColourPop and just put this on and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this and outline it and then i'm gonna go ahead and set everything with some of this fix plus this is the matte fix plus Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed me struggle a little bit because I'm not going to lie. I was kind of struggling. I had to refilm this video twice and the lighting has changed. And uh, when I film, you know that everything that can go wrong is going to go wrong. So come on, just bring it. Just bring it, please. So this is the look that I came up with. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, you know, every time I film, it's like my face is breaking out. So there's not really nothing I can say about that. Honestly, my face was doing so good the last few weeks that I haven't been, that I haven't filmed a video. I just been doing pre-uploaded videos, and you know, y'all can never see a girl in a good state because her skin plays her. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you join the fam and stay glam. I don't know what to say. Peace. <sighs> Literally, y'all. This is what it looks like. Could it be better? Yes. Is it better?